Rick Tellez runs a 750-acre family farm in western Pennsylvania with his father and uncle. They have dairy cattle and grow crops, but nothing is more financially important than the nearly 300 acres of soybeans. What percentage of your soybeans is exported? Uh, 100% of my beans. 100%? Right. right. And he believes almost all of it has gone to China over the years. But with President Trump's tariff war, China is no longer buying U.S. soybeans. Income has plunged 20% on this farm over the last year because of that. When you're operating on margins of less than uh, single digit percentage margins, 20% is very devastating. Uh, I don't know of any business out there, any businessman out there would keep his doors open where he would have to take his own equity out of his own uh, and that's what you're doing? Yes, the farm's using the equity it's built up over the years just to survive. Rick's father, Frank, has been farming here for 70 years, and his uncle Tom is a 60-year farming veteran. All three of them voted for Barack Obama twice for president. But three Novembers ago, they were among the many Pennsylvanians who helped decide a presidential election. Frank, who did you vote for for president in 2016? Mr. Trump. Right? Trump. Mr. Trump. If the election were today, Frank, would you vote for Donald Trump? No way. Couldn't happen. No. An increasing number of farmers nationwide are frustrated with the president's trade war with China and how his tariff decisions have affected their lives. The Tellers family believes the financial crisis they are dealing with could easily have been avoided. Yes, I'm angry at him, sure. Do I hate him? No, I don't hate the guy, but yeah, I'm, I'm upset with what he does, what he did. The nation's farmers strongly supported Donald Trump for president in 2016. And as of yet, there is no indication of a massive farmer exodus away from Trump. But there's also no indication this crisis is coming to an end. And with more than 14 months to go until Election Day, there is plenty of time for farmers to get even angrier. And a lot of time for farmers to worry if China's population of nearly 1.4 billion people will ever be the customer it once was. No, we'll never get that full market back again, no. Uh, and why do you think that? They've just gotten too many new suppliers that will cater to them. Other yeah. countries? Exactly. And Gary Tuckman joins us now. Great piece, Gary. The question is, the Trump administration is giving billions of dollars of aid to the farmers affected by the trade war with China. Are, are the farmers you're talking to, are they grateful for that money? Many farmers, John, are very grateful for the taxpayer-funded aid, including the family we've talked to today. For many farmers, it's a lifeline. But every farmer I've talked to for the story, whether they like Donald Trump, don't like Donald Trump, don't care about politics at all, would far rather make a lot more money selling their product to as large of a customer base as possible.